Hey guys, sorry for the lack of content I've had recently. Life has been pretty crazy and, uh, well, I won't bore you with the details. But to kind of make up for it, for one of the videos I'll be doing, other than a bunch of ceiling fan tests, I'm just going to do another mega compilation of different alarms I've gotten over the past few months, and in some cases, years. So I'll start off, some of the alarms you'll probably have seen before, I just picked a bunch of random alarms. And I'll start with this, a 4903-9101 strobe plate with a 9840 simplex horn. Pretty cool combo, and uh, yeah, this horn doesn't like to stand up, so I'm going to have to hold it when I do this. But uh, I'll just do a quick intro of each device before I get into it. So, let's start with this. Here we go. kind of high-pitched, and it's not the high output 9840. Next up, we have an EST752-5A-006, otherwise known as a pre-integrity. This has a dead strobe, but the horn still works great. And I got it new in box, so kind of unfortunate. But, uh, however, let's see how it sounds, shall we? Still sounds great. Next up, we have an Edwards 895B-001 on the verge of death. <laughs> I don't need hearing protection for this one. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's just depressing. Next up, we have a white Wheelock MT24 MCW from the 30th week of 2007. It is set to code three tone, low volume. So here we go. And yes, it is set to 75 Candela. Next up, we have some type of Chinese knockoff Spectra Alert. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure if this even has a brand, but it has three tones and a pretty weak LED light that's supposed to be like a strobe. Kind of interesting though, because it's all written in English. I've seen some variants that actually were written in Mandarin. But uh, yeah, let's see how it sounds, shall we? The tone it's set to is some kind of high-low. Yeah, my power supply burns off power. Not quiet, but not that loud. So... Not too bad on the ears. Next up, we have an FOS 6120 ceiling mount horn strobe, a little more in common, and one that's surprisingly healthy sounding. So here we go. Yeah, that one's loud. Next, we have a pretty rare one, a Gentex GMH24R, a horn-only Gentex GMS, just no strobe, and pretty much the mechanism from the 4903 series simplex horns. Pretty cool device, got it new in box, so uh, let's see how it sounds. 
That was a solid two seconds before it actually started dying down. It doesn't draw much power, as you can tell. Next up is one of my personal favorites and one I have showed before. A Simplex 2901 9846, not a 9838. This is the high output variant of that horn. And uh, yeah, if I haven't made it clear, this is definitely one of my favorite alarms. Sorry about that, there was a cobweb in it and definitely shows it sat a little while. Next up, we have a Wheelock CHDF1 WS24 from the 33rd week of 1990. I got this one new in box and uh, it's one of those nice alarms you really don't need hearing protection for. The tone is set to whatever tone they had it to beforehand and I had the volume cranked to the max on it. So here we go. Always a pleasant sound. Next up, we have a Wheelock 7001T-24 from the 37th week of 1986. And it is in great shape, if you ask me. Here, here we go. Very healthy. Next, we have one that looks cool, but it's kind of a disappointment. A very rare Space Age AV-34 light plate with a Faraday 5940 horn. So unfortunately, it's just gonna be the horn because the light bulb is burnt out. But still a very cool piece nonetheless. So here we go. Yeah, that's, a, that's an extremely high-pitched horn. This will return in a video one day with a fresh bulb. That, I will promise you that. Next, we have another pretty rare device, a white Wheelock LSM24 remote strobe, 1575 Candela strobe, and it's from the 12th week of 1996. Such a special alarm that it deserves to have the lights off so we can see the strobe better. So, here we go. I may be crazy, but I feel like these LSM strobes are faster than they should be. Most of them are adjustable, though, I forget. Works great. Next, we have a slightly more uncommon one, a Simplex 4901-9805 remote horn. This one's the mechanical horn, as you can see. Um, oh, that's upside down. In three months, it will be 30 years old. September of 94. I assume that's what it's from. And uh, yeah, let's see how it sounds, shall we?
4901, 4903s. I don't think a single one of my horns sounds that health sounds 100% healthy. <laughs> These really are like snowflakes. No two are alike. So the next one I have necessitated the return of my tripod so I could hold it because filming a 10-inch bell is kind of difficult with how top-heavy they are. This is a Simplex 4080 rated at 24 to 28 volts DC and it is in absolutely pristine shape if you ask me. So here we go. Whoops. Boy, it sounds as good as it looks. The next alarm I have is another Chinese fire alarm. It's a some type of fire alarm bell. Rather interesting. It actually looks like it, it's been 3D printed for the most part. This part, I assure you, is metal. Runs off of 24 volts DC. And is surprisingly loud for what it is. So, here we go. And it's kind of camera shy because it keeps trying to slide out of frame. Next up, we have what is one of the coolest alarms I've showed off. This is a Wheelock V7001-12, 12 volts DC. Has the pigtail connectors versus the terminal. And it's from the 21st week of 1983. And honestly, is one of the best sounding 7001s I've ever heard. So, here we go. It's kind of weird. There's minimal skipping with the strobe and the horn on this one. It's very unique. The next one I have is a rather interesting one I've never heard of. This is a Federal Signal Model 450D, but it's a Series C2 horn, which as you can see by this one's twin, it's pretty much the same mechanism you find on a 9838. So yeah, we'll get that one out of here and let's see how this one sounds. Very good sounding for what it is. And just for the kicks and giggles, here's the other one that you just saw. I think that one is a little healthier than the other one. It sounds Both the sound awesome, though. Next up is a pretty rare remote strobe. This is a Wheelock HSW-24 from the 39th week of 1994. It is a whopping 110 candela. And honestly, I feel like I need sunglasses more than hearing protection. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see how it works, shall we? I got this one new in box, by the way. Yeah, not too uh, thrilling, but definitely a very cool piece to have. The next one I have here is a Gentex HS24 1575WR, better known as the Gentex Commander 1, 1575 Candela Strobe. And this little guy was born January 14th, 2003. I also got this one new in box, and sounds great.
So here we go. Set it to code three because it pretty much is a smoke detector piezo. <laughs> Very familiar sound for a lot of people, I'm sure. Next up, we have this extremely rare and really weird little horn. This is a Simplex 4048. This particular one is 12 volts AC, and I don't know much about the horn other than that. <laughs> I don't know if it was a replacement for the 4040, and maybe it was a weird transitional horn between the 4040 and 4050. Of course, those were all Faraday horns and originally, and I don't know who made this one. I assume it was Faraday too. But uh, regardless, let's see how it sounds. extremely loud and boy it will not stay in place <laughs> but sounds great for what it is next what we have here is a rather beat up version of what the 4040 would have been this particular one is rebranded by couch kind of scrape the paint off so you can see the label this one is only five volts ac and needs a whopping two and a half amps to power it's quite a needy little horn but this is one of those ones that would have been used to be wired up in series with a bunch of other horns. But uh, despite how it looks, it still sounds great. So uh, yeah, here we go. say even with hearing protection that is an extremely loud horn <laughs> they don't make them like they used to that's for sure with this particular one so next we have a federal signal model 350 this is a pretty interesting one it's a series b1 horn and uh, it still has a round mechanism like the last one which was a couch model 350 i'm not sure if i mentioned that and uh yeah this one runs off 120 volts ac so it's a little more usable See the logo there. Very interesting, though. I bet it was a transitional model between that and the 450s or something like that. And uh, before I set it off, I should point out, I got it with some janky little doorbell setup. Kind of looks like something a kid would do for a science day project. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I removed that because I didn't trust it. But anyway, here we go. I think that one was the loudest one I tested so far. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, this is one of the horns they typically use for scoreboards. And last but not least, to round off this video, we have a Federal Signal Model 450E. This one is labeled as a fire horn and runs off of 24 volts DC. And it's pretty cool because it comes with a weatherproof back box. So let's hear how it sounds. I don't know if that's going to come across in the video, but that might be one of the loudest electronic horns I've ever heard. I may have to do a future video of testing this against the Spectre Alert Advances, because that is extremely loud. But yeah, that'll do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and hope you all have a great day.